Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and this is a first look into the new build of Insider Preview 11.082, which is the latest build for Windows 10. So uh, yesterday, December the 16th, Microsoft released this new build to Insiders. It's been five weeks since we had a last update to Insider Previews, so it's a welcome uh, change. Uh, I don't think we won't ha we'll have any other previews before the end of the year, so I would expect things to start again on the previews in January. And by the way, Gabe All did say that the build pace, the insider builds, will be uh, of increased pace in January because they've changed the criteria of what can go to the fast ring to insiders. That also means that we'll probably have builds that have more bugs uh, starting January so you know this is really is always important people ask me all the time oh should I go to the insider uh, ring and try these insider builds and the problem is no you should not go to the insider um, program if you don't have a machine a special machine that you can actually uh, go and use don't use your main computer for an insider this is not a good idea and it's for tech enthusiasts that know what they're doing it's for tech enthusiasts that know that um, you know you can you might have to reinstall windows and stuff like that so it's very important to understand that now uh, this build took about an hour to install uh, which is typical for this machine that I use as an insider machine it's a slower machine that I have but it you know is dedicated for insider ring um, and uh, you see here on the window, um, we are at ver version 15.11, but build 11.082.1000. And uh, that's the version that we have now. Uh, what's new? Really nothing much, basically, uh, because um, Gabe All did say, look, we're re releasing this, but it's kind of, you know, the first Redstone um, version of Windows 10, yet what they did now is just preparing the future of our insider preview so what happens is they've done many changes inside the Windows 10 system to receive the new features of Redstone as they get available in the next uh, weeks and months um, apart from that there's really nothing much that I can say um, some of the Things that happen with this preview version, though, uh, you have uh, defaults that are reset. So if you, you know, started using this as a main computer and you're on the fast ring, well, you might have noticed that this has gone back to default to default apps. So what I did is I uh, changed the default to a few of them back to what I wanted. So uh, some of the defaults are changed. Uh, language packs have problems so that uh, they can't necessarily download it work well and um, so that's a known issue I have uh, noticed that Cortana in my case doesn't seem to want to work on this build um, also in known bugs that are on this um, version when you transfer big files or any files from one folder to another you know usually you see this little pro progression you have this little box that opens and tells you how much of the file is now um, you know being transferred to uh, the other folder what's happening here is that this um, dialog box does not open here but the transfer is working so it means if you download you know or you, you transfer a, a two gig file you won't see anything but it is working it is doing the job so that could you know maybe be kind of a mix up here so uh, just make sure that you know um, you're careful with that it does work it's just it won't show up uh, the dialog box that it does this job and apart from that you know what uh, very stable I've used it all evening yesterday and pretty much all day today and uh, no crashes no bugs nothing everything seems to work perfectly well so it is pretty stable build uh, basically this 11082 uh, it's just that if you are looking for new features, nothing here yet. One thing, though, in Cort uh, in, not in Cortana, in Microsoft Edge, 
um, I was reading some of the blog posts of people that were actually um, saying that they noticed that in the code of Edge, uh, it's pretty much ready for extensions now. So this means that I would expect that maybe the next build that we get in January will probably have extensions available and I'll be able to test that and that's going to be interesting to see. Um, that's for sure. Um, and, you know, nothing much that I can talk about as of yet since this uh, there's nothing really new in here um, to talk about for now. So these are my little observations and look of this new build. And if you were wondering if it was stable enough to move on to 11082, if you're an insider, yep, it's a pretty good build, works pretty well. And uh, it is available on the fast ring only. Also means that it's not available in an image file that you can download for now. So that's uh, something you need to know if you uh, want to uh, use it. Uh, you have to upgrade through your Windows 10 586 uh, version right now. So watermark here on the bottom right, as you see, Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview, Evaluation Copy Build 11082. It's uh, or home if you have a home version that you've done the Insider Previews with. And uh, this is the future of Windows now. So I expect that probably in the next builds, we're going to start having some interesting features of Redstone uh, that will come in 2016. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, let us know. Um, if you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe? You uh, will be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. Helps us in the ratings on YouTube. And thank you so much for following us on the channel.